Hey guys, so this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. I'd like to introduce you to my baby, Sweater Weather, three wick burning in my living room. Now, I'm going to read you the notes, and of course it's a candle of the week, that's just a must. Now, I'm going to read you the notes, just please hear me out, don't get turned away because I know how some of you are, and let me read it out and go from there. So this one says, cuddle up with an aromatic blend of eucalyptus juniper berry and fresh sage that celebrates the arrival of sweater weather so in case you didn't hear me i said uh these these notes are so forbidden in the you know world of sweet people but eucalyptus juniper berry and fresh sage and please just hear me out i'm going to talk about the scent near the end but let me just start out and give it its you know proper introduction so this is probably my favorite scent right now. I know I say that about pretty much everything that comes out that really smells great, but I really like this one. I think it's excellent. It's top choice in my book, and I really want you guys to check it out. Despite the notes, just check it out for me. You know what I mean? Just grab it up and tell me what you think. All right, so let's start out with the performance and then go on from there. So this is a third day burn. Of course, I'm doing these candle reviews on third day just to make sure that they don't die out near mid-range because a lot of them do. A lot of them don't, but a lot of them do. So you're witnessing a third day burn, and every time I light the candle, the wax would melt and pull out. And let's say about 15 minutes, and then the scent throw kicked in as soon as it was lit. So everything kind of fell together and kicked into gear for this guy in no more than, let's say, 20 to 25 minutes top for the full, you know, effect. So the throw, first day, amazing, traveled and lingered all over my home. Um, this scent will not choke you out. It's not going to dominate you or, you know, do anything like that. It's just super guest friendly. It's very fresh. It's clean. And it just, it just feels good. It feels like fall. So that's what it is. And that's the first day. So first day, second day. We're on the third day. Repeat step one and two for the third day. Again, lit the candle. And I had the candle going for about, let's say, four hours. First day, second day, same thing. And third day, I'm on my fourth hour. So the candle has reached mid-range, so we're looking pretty good. Of course, it's sweater weather, so what do you expect? It's like the perfect candle. So that's a performance. Again, the scent throw is not going to choke you out. It's just you can smell it. It's strong, but it's pleasant. So that's always a good thing. Now let's talk about the actual scent. No, no, no. The wicks are not super thick, they're not thin, they're the medium size. They're kind of like a, a cream colored wick. I've seen this one in the other candle that was released last fall, but same wicks, same wax, everything's great. And also just want to mention that with these white candles, I know a lot of you are turned away by them, and I am too, because they usually end up turning like, you know, gray or even black at times, but this one has remained consistent and it has not turned any colors. It's still the same color. Even when you blow it out and go to the next morning when it's like, you know, all like cooled and hardened, it is not, the color hasn't changed at all. It's consistent. So thank goodness, thank goodness for that. So the wicks are not thick. They're not thin. They're like the medium sized cream colored wicks. And, of course, they formed mushroom tops. And if you have a mushroom top at the tip of your wick, it's just a little ball of soot that forms at the tip of the wick. That always helps to ensure that the flames are going to get a lot bigger, thicker, and wider, giving you a better burn, you know, smoothly, consistent, all that great stuff. It doesn't really go for the throw at all times. I like to think so in my mind, but usually it helps for the burn. So if you have, and let me show you the flames really quickly, up close and personal. So there you have it. Mushroom tops, super beautiful flames. It's just like the best candle ever. I'm telling you, it's excellent. So, all that's great. And now let's talk about the actual set. The set. So, again, you guys are turned away by, you know, hearing anything, the H word, herbal. But you know what, guys? It's, it's not bad at all. Like, it's super fresh. It's super clean. It's super inviting. It's guest-friendly. And I really want you guys to check it out because I just think that, at, you know, a lot of you do like those cologne scents. I mean, I think they pass off those scents as being herbal, but they're really cologne at the end of the day. But this one, it doesn't smell like cologne. doesn't smell like perfume. It's just true blue, fresh, herbal scent. 
Now, with eucalyptus, I've smelled it so many ways. I've smelled it in a powdery scent, I've smelled it in an oily scent. This one is true blue eucalyptus in the air. You're walking in a park or where there's eucalyptus around and you smell that eucalyptus in the air. The juniper berries, now, we had a lot of like juniper in our area where I was from, or, you know, back in those days. But I don't know what the actual juniper berry smells like. I don't even think I got close because junipers will like kind of prick you a little bit. <laughs> so I know that juniper has like a very fresh, almost sharp and piercing kind of a scent. That's herbal, but it's kind of sweet. Like this, when they blend together, it's kind of sweet. So that's good. And I don't think it's from juniper berry per se, but it's super fresh, clean, and a hint of sweetness in there. So, you know, won't completely turn you away. And sage, not really. Perhaps it's like a kind of a base note, but I I'm, can't even pretend like I smell it because I don't. I'd love to, but I really don't. But I think that this is like the perfect combination blend of juniper and eucalyptus. It's not the um, bright, kind of sweet, sweetie juniper breeze scent. It's more of a, I'd like to say, more realistic sense. And then eucalyptus, it's just, that's what it is. So it's a great scent. Again, Burns well, throws well, smells great, looks great. It's just excellent. So I can't stress that enough. This is going on in like six minutes. Let me let you guys go. But again, I have to just say, don't get turned away by the notes. Just give it a shot and you'll thank me. I promise you. And, and it's also kind of cooling too. I want to throw that in there. It has like this cooling effect. So it's just all around perfection. And that's it, so thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Of course, you know you have to comment, rate, subscribe. That's a must, plus it's mandatory. God bless you all, and as always, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thanks, bye.